So, first of all, biomass power accounts for around 12% of the UK's electricity, making it the country's second largest source of renewable energy. The government says it's helped to dramatically reduce the UK's use of coal and is key to achieving net zero emissions. But some scientists argue that burning wood for power is not a sustainable solution. So should we view biomass as a clean energy source? Uh, Bruce, to you first of all, and let me just... Forgive me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the theory behind biomass is that you harvest forests sustainably, then you burn the wood, but then if you also plant new trees, they will absorb roughly the same amount of carbon that's being released from the burning of the wood. And its advocates would say that makes it a clean, renewable energy source. What's your take? That was the state of the science a couple of decades ago. Today, the notion that we would cut down trees here in America, put them on a ship, burning a lot of oil, ship them to the UK, burn them in um, a giant power plant and assume that is helpful for the climate, that is not where the science is today. The science says we're in code red uh, situation for humanity. And even the prime minister has his tagline for how we solve the climate, coal, cars, cash, and trees. He's not talking about burning trees. He's talking about planting trees, which is a critical part of what we need to do globally to solve the climate crisis. And so this is just an outdated holdover from when we didn't know better. But, but this does involve planting trees, doesn't it, to, to replace the carbon. So why is there a problem? Well, two things, and you mentioned at the top of the hour. One is that it takes a long time for trees to grow back. Um, and then secondly, the energy involved in shipping them across the country, cutting them down in the first place, uh, it doesn't make any science-based sense to continue to do that when we're trying to get to zero as fast as humanly possible. And Joyce Lynn, the UK and the EU class biomass as renewable. And in fact, uh, just to remind us, the government does say that biomass is a key element of uh, plans to, to reach net zero targets. What, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, I think I'd have to second what Bruce has said. Um, we need to really reconsider what we mean by sustainable. And uh, as the science has proved, this isn't really sustainable um, when trees are such an important part of our strategy to get to net zero. And I'm not a biofuel expert, but I think another important thing we need to keep in mind is that um, kind of at the same time as a climate crisis, we have a biodiversity crisis and planting trees just to be cut down again does nothing for our biodiversity, nothing for natural ecosystems, which are equally as important. And we can't just keep focusing on this net zero kind of calculation down to zero because it's not a true um, kind of signifier of our progress. Uh, Bruce, you, you don't think the biomass is uh, should be classed as a renewable uh, source of energy. What what technology might help you change your mind if there was the technology to capture the carbon released when the wood is burned would that make a big difference and how far away are we from that so, so as jocelyn said we're, we're trying to solve several crises at the same time one is climate and the other is the ecological crisis um, we need trees for both both to pull carbon out of the atmosphere and also to make sure there is homes for a lot of wildlife that's teetering on the edge of extinction. So again, this, this makes no sense. And um, the, the path forward is how do we phase out biomass now that the UK is very close to being done with coal? The path ahead is investing in offshore wind and solar and all the things that are allowing the country to make great progress on coal, now to make the same progress on phasing out biomass.